What's going on you guys? It's your boy Lloyd here. I'm not the single guy, but I got a question and we are going to talk about this. Hey Lloyd, love your channel. Thank you for all the advice you provide us. I have a question about texting. I feel like my conversations are pretty boring and not exciting. I get responses, but it feels very platonic. How can I spice up my conversations a little more and make them more sexual to increase their attraction? Any tips would help. Thanks. This guy is wondering how he can spice up his conversations and turn them more sexual. Now, I would highly recommend that you guys don't think that turning the conversation sexual is going to increase attraction. In fact, if you force a conversation to get turned sexual, 99% of the time, the girl is gonna get creeped out and run away, which is probably why you're asking the question in the first place because you felt like this is something that might occur. So what you need to establish first is she needs to get attracted to you before you actually start going sexual and probably needs to meet up with you and decide she wants to have sex with you first. So what I would recommend that you guys do is follow some of these rules for turning the conversation sexual. You can do it in the right way, uh, but the first rule of this is gonna be don't do it unless you've actually had sex with the person, okay? I can actually get away with doing this because I've had a lot of practice, but you need to build up an extreme amount of comfort with the person as well too. If you just go all sexual, it gets very creepy. You have to build a baseline level of attraction and the sexuality blossoms from it, okay? It's like sexuality and, and women and men, it's like a seed, okay? You, you can plant it, you can water it, but it has to grow by itself. And if you don't let it grow, you're forcing it to grow, like please grow, 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 then uh, nothing's gonna happen. And in fact, doing that will force it to uh, not happen at all. Okay, so you have to have the framework for it. So number one, don't force it. Number two, build comfort and build things that are gonna make her want to do that stuff with you. Now, I get it, there are gonna be some women on dating apps that will go sexual right away. Let me ask you a question. How many of those girls actually meet up with you? Some of them might, but most of them will probably get too scared, never show up on the date, and flake. I've had this happen with dozens of my students, and this used to happen to me when I was younger. So even if she starts being sexual with you first, bring it back down to a level where you can start actually getting to know each other and be comfortable. Remember, she's not gonna show up on a date, or she's not gonna show up or hang, to hang out with you, or even come over to your place if she doesn't trust you. Safety is the biggest factor for women in this. If you do wanna turn the conversation sexual, you can't go sexual right away. That's too big of a jump. You need to warm people up to it. You ever heard of the thing called foreplay? <laughs> a lot of men neglect it and women get frustrated by this. So you have to use foreplay when you're texting as well too. So talk about things that would lead to a sexual conversation. Like, hey, what are you up to right now? You know, and then you can describe what you're doing. She can describe what she's doing. That gets her in the mode where she's telling you what she's up to. And then maybe you can turn it sexual from there because she could tell you if she's having a sexual thought or if she's doing something sexual, hopefully not with another guy. <laughs> so if you put yourself in these, uh, in these positions, it's more likely that the conversation can turn sexual. Again, there has to be a baseline level of trust there. She's gotta be with it. And if she's not playing ball, guys, don't get frustrated. Just change the subject and talk about something else. Okay, now the other thing that you can do to I guess lead into a sexual conversation is you start with, uh, you can start with relationships, you can start with, uh, first of all, I would talk about other people, relationships with other people, and then sex naturally transforms into that. Usually when you're talking to the person, that's what I like to do, um, but you can do this over text as well. That's one technique, okay? Again, don't force it. This should happen a little bit more naturally. Like start the conversation about relationships, and if she doesn't wanna talk about it, then you can change the subject to something else, okay? Okay. Again, we're leading into it, we're using the whole, um, the idea of foreplay. So once you've built up comfort, once you've started talking about those subjects where she's getting comfortable with you, she's telling you what she's doing, you know, sex should naturally flow from those. And if it just stays there and she's, that's all she feels comfortable with doing, that's fine. Again, if you're forcing sexuality before you've actually met or before you've actually had sex, you're gonna push her away. So stop focusing on the sex to build attraction, do the other things that I talk about to build the attraction, and the sex will naturally blossom from that. And if you need some techniques to be able to actually start talking about sex, I highly recommend that going through uh, friends, relationships, and things that other people have done, and then you can talk about things that you guys have done, um, but making it you know, not as uh, judgmental or personal or any of that sort of stuff, or explicit right away. Remember women are not, uh, they don't like to go explicit. They're more into the soft core stuff first and then they go uh, into the, uh, you know, the more explicit things later. For instance, if you were talking about relationships or you were talking about fun, crazy things you did at a party or when you were a kid, I would talk about a time that you went skinny dipping as opposed to a time where you railed some girl behind a dumpster. <laughs> you know, the latter is probably gonna scare her off. The first one is probably going to intrigue her a little more, okay? 
So guys, that's how you do it. Uh, if you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I come up with videos like this every single week. If you're interested to get coached by me personally, there's forms down below. I highly recommend you sign up for my texting cheat sheet, which will teach you all the rules to be able to do this sort of stuff in a calm and respectful way so you're not being creepy and you're allowing an environment where the sexuality can blossom from. Because women are very sexual creatures, but they're just scared to be and they're not gonna be like that with 99% of guys on the planet. So be part of that 1% that makes her feel good enough uh, to be able to do it with you. Cool, all right you guys, thanks for watching. Good luck out there.